Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Jay with the Leaf Chiropractic. And I want to talk to you a little bit today about us with uh, a common symptom that chiropractors treat. It's this thing called back pain. Uh, if you're new to back pain, uh, then that's awesome. If uh, back pain is something new to your life, but it's something that you have heard about, and you've heard people struggling with, then uh, let me just give you a couple things that commonly work to work with low back pain. These are two of my favorite tools. We've just got a physio ball as well as a foam roller. Now, if you are on our website, click on stretches, and then you can click on foam rolling for a detailed uh, discussion about what works for foam rolling. But in the concept of low back pain, uh, if it's really bad, don't start with the foam roller. Instead, start with the physio ball. And just nice and easy, what we just wanted to do, just get some motion in your low back. Probably not this mobile if you have low back pain. But you're just gonna get in and just do some some stuff like this, okay? Just really, really basic, really easy. The other thing that works, if that doesn't feel like it's stretching it all that much, you go ahead and use the foam roller. So here's Mr. Foam Roller. And we go ahead and we're gonna go assistant. And we'll just go up to the floor. And you can go all the way up, but specifically for low back pain, you're gonna be working with oh, uh, that's a good stretch. <laughs> Uh, you're going to be working with the full back, and you're just going to go up and down, forward and back, like that. So those are two basic things, the physio ball, as well as the foam roller. Uh, trusty assistant, would you lie on the floor, please? Yes. Yeah. And you're just going to lie right there. And so our other most fit, uh, common way to stretch the low back is go ahead and lay back there, and then go ahead and put your arms out to the side, Marissa. And then what we're going to do is to have you go ahead and bring one leg up and then just come right across your body, just like that. Good, and then move that over to the other side, go back over, good. Go back over the other side, go back over. Now, if you're really in a lot of pain when you're doing this, it's a good idea just to go really, really slowly with the back, the forward and the back. Go ahead again, Larissa, and let's just show it one more time. And as you're getting warmed up, you can move quicker and quicker through the exercise. Go ahead and move back to the other side. Beautiful, perfect. As she's there, we're gonna go right into our, the next stretch. And the next one is go ahead and go straight back again, Larissa. And just go ahead and straighten your legs out. And bring your legs right back up. Uh, both legs back, I'm sorry. <laughs> this, and bend your legs. And then just bring your legs in just like this and bring them to you. And then straight back again. And then just go ahead and bring them right back up to you again. Very, very common way just to stretch the low back. Now, first of all, not all these exercises work for everyone as one point. Uh, and then if, this, if any of these make your back pain worse, and it can, go ahead and just put the kibosh on it right away. Because sometimes, uh, can I borrow that space? Yep. Sometimes just coming in and doing this is just enough to help your low back. That might make things a lot worse. Uh, you may have a herniated disc if, that, if that's the issue. The other thing is go ahead and lean back. Sometimes this feels great to people, and that's an awesome stretch, and for other people, that's not so good. In, in the case number two, if you're leaning back and it hurts, then what's going on is you've got something called facet syndrome, and frankly, what's going on in that case, is there's a demon swelling. If any of these stretches hurt, just go ahead and just don't do it, all right? Um, the last one I'm gonna do is just called cat cow. And my daughter in her swim lessons, this is called uh, mad cat. Fat cat, but also cat. <laughs> yeah, they teach how to do swim, swim lessons, how to do butterfly. Fat cat, mad cat. So fat cat, mad cat, or cat cow, they both work. And what you're doing is the mad cat, and then the fat cat, and then the mad cat, and the fat cat. So some, if you're, if you're watching, my four-year-old daughter, like she's watching on Facebook, right? I'm a really responsible adult. My four-year-old has a cell phone. Not really, just kidding. But fat cat, mad cat is a great way to go ahead and uh, stretch your back also. Uh, the kind of blanket on all these, if any of this stuff hurts, or if you have any questions, call your chiropractor, your doctor, see if any of these things are good for you. Uh, and also, if you feel like you're not entirely sure, go ahead and send us a message on Facebook, or Google, or Twitter, or Instagram, or that cover all the social media plates. Email. Or email, that's a social media one also. Thanks for joining us today, guys. Hope you learned a little bit about how you can treat low back pain at home. If there's ever any questions, send us a note. Thanks so much.